Big Shark here coming at you with another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Command Tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be an updated tutorial on how to display a scoreboard, how to remove player offline from your scoreboard, and we're going to be using a currency system slash a coin system as an example here. If you guys are from my previous video, all you probably want to see is the updated execute command, because this is what broke on the previous video. So if you just go ahead and change your execute command from that video to this command here, then you'll be all set. If you guys are new here, we'll go ahead and and break down the entire system in just a minute so stick around but in any case the command here as you guys can see is execute as anyone run scoreboard players operation at self coins display equals at self coins and that's all you need to update my last system basically <clears throat> so anyways as most of our command systems you want to make sure you got this system located in a ticking area if you're not familiar with adding a ticking area real quick we will add one here we're going to go forward slash ticking area add and we're going to do a circle and we're going to choose the center of the circle which we're going to use those squiggly lines for we're going to choose a radius and we're going to choose a name and we're going to enter that there and instead of adding a ticking area right here I already have nine so this system here is good for up to 15 players at once. Um, if you guys have more than 15 players at once on your server, this observer here is not going to be able to figure out what the 16th player has going on. It's not able to count more than 15. Um, so I suggest putting a redstone uh, clock into this impulse block to fix that if you need to. Alright, so that's pretty much the limitations on this, is we're going to go up to 15 players, and we can dive right into this here. So basically we're going to need to put a repeat, unconditional, always active command block down, and that's going to be forward slash test for at anyone. And then we're going to go ahead and stack a chain, unconditional, always active command on top of that. And if you don't care about having all your players' names displayed on the list, you don't need this one or the next one, but this basically is going to make sure that you have a score of zero on the display, so it's forward slash scoreboard players add at any one coins display zero. We're going to use two different scoreboard objectives in this particular system here. Um, and the reason we're using two different objectives is because one's going to hold the information and we're going to delete the other one to remove our player offline. So that's the secret here. So this coins display with that capital D there, you can name that whatever you'd like to. Um, we're going to set that up in a minute here, but you're going to need to go ahead and decide what the name of your scoreboard is at this point. We're going to use coins for an example. And then the next command here is also no, only optional if you want to make sure everyone's name is showing up. So chain unconditional always active forward slash scoreboard players add at anyone coins zero. And that's going to be the actual scoreboard name that holds the information. So we're going to make a scoreboard and I'm in here named coins. You're going to want to make sure you treat that scoreboard objective carefully. The one named coins is the one that's going to hold all your information for this. You never want to let that get deleted. So chain unconditional always active here is our top command. This is that execute command that I showed you guys at the beginning. Forward slash execute as anyone run scoreboard players operation at self. And then coins display equals at self coins. So basically that's just telling this scoreboard here to take your coin score and display it on the other scoreboard that we're going to be using to delete player offline. So now that we did that there, let's go ahead and jump into the chat and we're going to do a one-time command here. And we're going to actually create this scoreboard objective. So we're going to go ahead and do lowercase here, scoreboard, objectives, add, and then we're going to go ahead and add coins. And then, whoops. I forgot to put the, we're going to add coins dummy. And then this dummy is going to actually hold all of our information. And then now that we've added a scoreboard for one time here, we're going to go ahead and take a comparator and stick it out of that test for anyone command block. And we're going to go ahead and put a redstone dust. We're going to put an observer down so that it faces the redstone dust, which you're going to face this way. You got those eyes facing that redstone dust there. And then we're going to put down a impulse unconditional needs redstone command block. And every time that observer senses somebody has entered or left the game, it's going to run a scoreboard objectives remove coins display command here. And that's the same objective name that we chose earlier, the display name you're going to need to put here. Here. and that one's going to get deleted to fix the player offline and then this here is a repeat unconditional needs redstone and it's a scoreboard objectives add coins display dummy and this here has a squiggly line um, with a color symbol here to go ahead and get us 
a colorful name. Whatever you put after the word dummy here is what's actually going to show up in the menu and then you need to make sure you use that same name again, coins display in our case. So we're going to go ahead and basically with these two commands we removed it and then we quickly added it back and now that we've added it back here we're going to go ahead and stack a chain conditional this time. So this time we're actually going to be using a conditional one and then always active and you go scoreboard objectives set display list coins display and then you can see in my main menu here it shows that I have zero coins here because I actually have restarted the system when we reset the objective but when I have zero coins here in the list you could actually also display it a few different ways um, the other ways that you could display it here are you could display it um, on the sidebar which is what we did in my previous video there as well and that would pop up on screen on the right hand side with everybody's name and score and then you could also display it below name which then it's going to pop up above your head which then it's going to show above your head there and then a couple other things to note here are when you want to actually mess with the player's scores you never want to mess with the coins objective that we created there that coins objective is like I said going to hold our information so you're going to want to mess with the actual players um, so the way to do that is scoreboard player command so scoreboard players add and then in this case I'm just adding it to the person standing near the command block and then it's coins 500 so then you can see here that we um, Oops, so we'll look in the menu here. I have 500 coins now in the menu. And then another way that you could do that if you really wanted to, you could actually just hit set. And then let's say we wanted to put me at 600 coins. So we're just going to set my coins to 600. And now I have 600 coins. But let's say we wanted to remove it. You could also remove coins. And now that we're going to remove coins, I have zero again. And then another way to do it is to just bring somebody down to zero with a reset. You can just hit reset the person near this command block um, coins. Just make sure you never reset or delete the actual objective and you won't lose your information. If you guys are finding this video helpful here, please go ahead and like and subscribe to Arctic Shark Games on YouTube and throw a like on the video as well as if you're having any trouble with any of this kind of stuff here, scoreboard commands or other videos that is, please feel free to jump into the Shark Commanders Discord and I will throw a link for the Shark Commanders Discord in the description. And another option, actually, one more thing before we quit here that I forgot to mention is you guys could also display your command on a title raw or a tell raw command. And that would um, basically not need a lot of this stuff we have here for the display loop. You'd be able to just go ahead and display that in a certain area or around a certain entity or all that kind of stuff there. I have another video that also kind of goes over that that I will update soon. But for now, I will go ahead and throw a link in the description to the old one as well on how to execute a scoreboard on a entity. But in any case, I hope you guys found this video helpful, and don't forget to subscribe.